We've seen a lot of different Star Wars action figure lines, and most of them's pretty cool. But this one from 2005 is god awful. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to go all the way back to 2005, and we're going to talk about an awful, an awful looking Star Wars action figure line. And again, this is 2005. We can't blame Disney for this one here. This is the 2005 Force Battlers. Force, I did say that right. I don't sound right. Force Battlers? I said that right. Force Battlers? Force Battlers. I really don't know what they were going for here with this line here. At the time, at the stores, you had the regular figures selling, selling good. But they got greedy. Hasbro, Lucasfilm, getting greedy. I don't believe it. Well, these figures were bigger than your regular action figures. They were just odd looking. Now, some of these don't look that bad, but the whole concept of the line is what I don't like. And I know some of you are going to jump in the comments section. You're going to say, Junk Man, I love that line. Bring it back. I hope they make more of them. Ugh, hope we never see them again. They lasted in 2005 and ended in 2006. So you got two series out of these. But... I teased it long enough. Let's take a look at him. God, we're going to look at that god-awful Han Solo. Let's dig into it. And we'll start with Anakin Skywalker. Does it look anything like Anakin Skywalker to you? Now, I thought Anakin Skywalker on the Clone Wars cartoon was the worst-looking Anakin I've ever seen in my life. But look at this thing. Look at his big metal arm. Let's look at him loose. It's so big and bulky. They're just trying to go with some kind of cool cartoon look, John. I don't care what they're trying to go for. It looks god. Look at those boots. Look at those boots. Gene Simmons wouldn't even wear those boots. It's just god awful. The hands are so big. And look at that face. Look at that face. Looks nothing like Anakin Skywalker or that hair. How about this one right here? Darth Vader. You're thinking Darth Vader is going to be cool. Well, let's take it out of the package and see. And try not look at that big shield. I've never seen Darth Vader with a shield. His whole his whole armor's a shield. Why does it need a shield with the symbol of the Imperials on it? Oh, damn! He's got the same boot. Well, what's Anakin? I guess he wore the same boots. Look at that. Awful, awful. But this one looks good to compare with the other beta we're gonna look at in a few minutes. So get ready. General Grievous. Now I'm not gonna sit here and say nothing too bad about General Grievous because if you ask me. This one actually looks okay. Doesn't look that... Oh, God, you can't even see me. All right, pull it over here. There you go. Oh, my God. You don't get to see my beautiful face. But that one doesn't look that bad. General Grievous, the, the character, fits with what they're going for. So, yeah, I give them that one. But look at this. Here we are, Darth Vader again. Are you ready for this? I'm going to open... The, let's look at this one out there. Because you're thinking, that looks just like the same Darth Vader I've seen before, Junk Man. No, it's not. Look at this one. It's a Darth Vader glider. His cape becomes a glider. Oh, this is uh, it's really something that would be in a Batman toy line, but good lord. He's got a big missile on his back that shoots off too. Don't forget that. I just hate the big bulky look to these things. And here's the Han Solo. Now, I like the concept that you can take off his clothes. Wait a minute, that didn't come out right. I like the concept that you can take off his Stormtrooper outfit and see Han Solo underneath. But look at this Han Solo. Well, just look at him. That doesn't look like Han Solo. That looks like your 6th grade English teacher substitute that your mom had an affair with. Ugh. Of course, he's got a big old gun. It's just so weird looking. It just, it just, it's like, I can't put my finger what's so ugly about these. It's just the concept look of them is just so, it just, it just looks wrong when you look at it. It just makes you sick looking at it. Oh, God, Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. Blonde hair, blue eyes. Pretty boy, right? Mm, look at this thing. Why is it so shiny? These figures are so shiny. I don't know why he's holding the lightsaber at his crotch. And what's he standing on? It's not a T-16 Skyhopper. Oh, looks nothing like... You thought those in the 90s with the big muscles, they get paid, made fun of, but look at this. This is worse than that. This is awful. And then you got the Emperor. 
Palpatine. And I can't stand it when I hear someone talk about the Emperor or Emperor Palpatine when they're referring to Return of the Jedi and they call him Darth Sidious. I see that sometimes, guys. Why? I guess it's kids that grew up in the prequel era. Of a, it's like, oh, I was watching Return of the Jedi the other day. Oh, I like when uh, Darth Sidious comes down those steps. It's not Darth Sidious. That's for the prequel stuff. I don't think he used that name anymore once he became once he became leader of the Empire and everything. Don't call him Darth Sidious. They don't call him that. I know. Call him the Emperor. You can call him Emperor Palpatine. But tell me, they didn't call him Emperor Palpatine in the movie. Well, they called him that in the book. But look at this thing. What an evil looking face. Now, this is one of the ones that don't look too bad. But look at that big piece of bubble gum he comes with. That's supposed to be force lightning? Well, it's not coming out of his fingers or his hands. It's coming out of his sleeve. Guess he's got some trickers up his sleeve. Now this one here is the head you can change on. Well, the bad guy from the movie Saul more than the Emperor. Ugh. Yoda. Now I think Yoda's one of the other ones that don't look that bad. But he's so big and bulky and plastic and shiny, it still throws me off. But it doesn't look as bad. Oh, it doesn't look that good either. Look at those fingers. Look at those fingers. Does he only have three fingers? I've never noticed that. I mean, I, I'll check my Kenner figure. And here's Chewbacca with a big ass shield. What is? Why do these toys want to have big shields? Wookie furry. Ah, uh, worky Wookie furry. Oh, that makes it even worse. Here he is. Look, he got some dog poop and rolled around the carpet. Look at those guns. He doesn't have any guns like that. Those toenails. Oh, this is horrible looking. And then we got General Grievous again. You're like, we already see General Grievous. I think it, I might be in a different pose. But look, he's getting down. He's got a lot of lightsabers. He's getting them funky tonight. Obi-Wan Kenobi. A resident of these parts. So god awful. Look at this comes with damn nunchucks. You ever think you see the day with Obi-Wan Kenobi? The leader of the resistance comes with damn nunchucks. Uncle Chuck man, he used them in the Clone Wars. They're lightsaber nunchucks. Oh, please don't tell me they got lightsaber nunchucks. Uh, I, please. Please. I, I don't know. If they don't tell don't even tell me in the comments. If there's such thing as oh my god, what's next? Uh, a laser bow and arrow? Oh, well, I guess it'd be an arrow. Well, maybe a bow and arrow boat. God. Awful. Pure. Awful. Django fit. He doesn't look that bad if he didn't have that big split in his legs. It looks like a figure that was made to ride a horse or something. And he looks big and plastic. And again, this one doesn't look as bad as some of the other ones, but... Ugh, I don't know what he comes with. What's that thing on his back? If you're gonna have all these figures, why there's no Boba? I know, it was 2005. Django was hot. Well, I'm sorry, that was 2003. He could at least gave us a job of the job of the, they at least gave us a Boba Fett. Always do a Boba Fett in a line. Or it's gonna tank. You need Darth Vader, you need Boba Fett. Them is like the two go tos. Luke Skywalker on so low. So that's that's surprised they do a Princess Leia on this line. Yep, another Chewbacca. Look at this. Another Chewbacca. Oh, maybe it's the same one. What is that gun? What is that? Horrible. Horrible. But you know what's worse? Damn clone troopers. Does anyone hate clone troopers as much as... Oh, fuck, I get so sick of clone troopers. One, the armor doesn't look that cool. Want to be Stormtrooper, want to be Boba Fett look. Uh, this one looks like a big old hunk of plastic. And again, it comes with this big old shield. Uh, this is horrible. Look, comes with a gun that shoots a missile. Missiles on his back. We get it. You fire missiles. You don't care about kids' safety anymore. That was something back in the early 80s. Yeah, this is horrible. Surprised they didn't release 20 of these and paint them all a little bit different color. I hate clone troopers. I hate them with a passion. Then we got, yeah, Samuel L. Jackson, 
Mace W. Windu. Right there. You're thinking, well, that one's going to look good out of the box. Well, you're wrong. Look at this. Why does he look so angry? So, his head's about this small, the rest of him is huge. <sighs> Did you collect these back in 2005? Shouldn't even done a video. And this video is going to tank in views. No one wants to look at these. Nobody wants to be reminded of this because you're probably like, I got to buy it, Star Wars. This is awful. They were only $10 back then, so that's surprising. Today, these things will be about 30 bucks. Well, they'll be about 30 bucks when you first see them, and then they'll be about six bucks when you go to Oli's or some clearance store. Too bad I don't have toy liquidators anymore. I bet these were their toy liquidators. God, these are awful. Go ahead and tell me in the comments about how they're not that bad, how you like them. How, oh, I didn't know about this. I'm going to start collecting these. I really like them. Well, go ahead and tell me all that in the comments below. Awful. I mean, this is Star Wars, for God's sakes. If this was a Batman line... Transformer line, even a G.I. Joe line, you let it slide. Star Wars should have higher standards. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.